This is Activity 8-2, creating a dynamic image. Now, what is a dynamic image? A dynamic image is one that changes based upon the associated text within the report. Now, for this little exercise, we're going to be looking at several different files. Uh, JPEG images, we're going to be looking at some information from an Excel spreadsheet and from a Crystal Reports report file as well. Now we're going to start this by opening up the report file itself. This will take just a moment. And we're going to step up and we're going to do enhancing. And we're looking for the products list file. And let's go to design. It's a really simple, straightforward. Now we're going to insert a picture here and we're going to put it in the detail section. So let's pull this down just a little bit. Right? We're going to go to our insert toolbar and we have our choices and picture is going to be the one. And it should follow around here in just a moment. I should see it attached to my mouse. No, oh there we go. Now what picture? Well we're going to navigate to our C drive and from our C drive into our data and we're looking specifically for image files so let's go down and we're looking for enhancing and we can see there are several ones in here now for us we're going to go ahead and pick uh, the one that just says open file so we're going to have to scroll and find our open file here there it is. And we're going to put it right in our details. Now I'm going to size that up just a little bit if I can. There we go. And then let's collapse the extra space in there. All right. Now, once we've got that in there, we're going to format the graphic. And we have four tabs across the top. Um, to start with, under Common, we can give it a name. And of course, we can make it read only. And it can grow. Notice your choices. Now, the picture itself, we can size. We can add a border and we can hyperlink, including hyperlinking to a file. We have all of these choices as well. Now we're going to return to the picture, right? And the graphic location. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our options here for the formula workshop. Now in the field tree here, we're going to navigate down to the products list and there's a sheet one and we have an image location and that's we're going to double click and put that down below and we're going to check that out and we're going to save and close that. So this image will point to an Excel spreadsheet. And let's say OK. And let's preview that. Isn't that interesting? And these are actually different bikes. If you'll notice very carefully, they are different bikes. And let's go back. So this really is not a picture. It is now a hyperlink. right? Now we can also do something called an OLE DB, which is a connection to another file, object linking and embedding database object. Right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to connect to the product list Excel file. Right? So let's make sure we deselect what's here. Right? We're going to launch the OLEDB dialog box and we're going to make a new 
connection. So we're going to select our database fields, go into the expert, and along the upper window here, we want the OLADB, ADO, and we're going to make a new connection. Now there's also in here the product list that is already connected. Notice? And sheet 1. And that's why we had that opportunity. Right? Now we're going to build here. We're going to make a new connection. And what is it going to be based on? All right, we have providers. We're looking for the Microsoft Office one for access. And we say next. And where is the source data? Well, let's go find the source data. It's a little slow whenever I go into um, File Explorer or Windows Explorer. This will come. It is spinning. We're going to go to our C drive in our numbered folder. And let's use the drop down to go to our C drive, our numbered folder, and back in here to our product list. And then this was enhancing. There's our product list file. We don't have any passwords on this. And we're just going to finish that up. So we have it. Oh, data connection. Hmm, now that's an odd one. Unrecognized format. That's very strange. Oh, I didn't select it with Excel. And let's finish that up. There we are. So we have a connection now, or we have laid out um, to our products list another option. Okay. And let's move that over, that sheet. Oh, it's already added. Uh, is this the first one? No, nope, that should be good then. And that's fine. And let's go back to our design. Now when we actually preview this, we might find that one of these does not come in correctly. Like this one. It's upside down. Hmm, that's a problem. So what we need to do is we need to fix that, that particular image. Now, when I right click, notice I have some choices here. But we're going to go and fix it in the source file. All right. So let's go to our File Explorer, go to our C drive, our numbered folder, enhanced. So there's the adult one that's upside down. And there's the helmet one that we actually want. Right? Adult helmet and helmet. Now we're going to delete this one. I'm actually not going to delete it. I'm going to right click and rename it. I'm just going to call it a helmet. And this one I'm going to rename Adult. Now, let's refresh this. And it's the right side around. Because we're pulling this from outside locations. So if we modify the outside locations, the report changes. And that's the end of this little exercise.